I'm Mark McAllister in Caledon, just south of Orangeville, where tonight Sonia Varashin is being remembered on the grim anniversary of her murder. This is the very spot where her body was found on the side of Beech Grove Side Road in 2010. Today, a memorial has been set up for her, and tonight, provincial police are still searching for her killer. With flowers in hand, Michelle Varashin is taking the time to visit the small memorial set up for her daughter at the side of a dirt road. This time, though, she marks another anniversary. With tears in her eyes, nine years since Sonia was murdered. She enjoyed life. She loved skiing. She loved hiking. She loved biking. She was an active girl. She was a, and as far as I know, everybody loves her. Sonia's mother and family have struggled since 2010 when her daughter's body was found. Police say they've received more than 1,000 tips in their investigation, but still, Sonia's killer still hasn't been identified. Every moment since, the family has been waiting for more information. I wish we should be more informed. If they want just the family to be informed and say, you know, we don't want you to hear nothing, you know, to anybody, I will agree with it. But I think after nine years, we should know what happened. How do you go about dealing with that and knowing that you're not quite there yet? Well, you're right. There is frustration, obviously, that we can't uh, bring this to a conclusion yet. Um, how do I deal with it? I, I just know that, uh, you know, the, the Varashin family uh, deserve answers. Varashin was first reported missing when her blood-stained car was discovered abandoned in a laneway behind some Orangeville stores. The search led police to her home where there was more blood but no signs of where she might be. One week later, her body was found by someone walking their dog in a wooded area alongside the road, nearly 13 kilometers away. Do you find that uh, it is new information that's coming to you? Some of it's new. Some of it's old information or it's information we've already looked at. Every tip that we get, we look at and uh, investigate. Over time, the sadness has made way for frustration. No more answers leave Sonia's mother wondering and waiting, hoping something more comes forward. And her questions are answered before yet another anniversary. I'm just going day by day, hopefully to find out what happened. I don't know. They don't, they don't tell me nothing. <laughs> you know, at least if they were saying something to keep me going, but they don't. While Sonia's mother is frustrated and is struggling at this point, police say there are advantages that come with time. Circumstances change. People may want to come forward now when they didn't back in 2010, or something may jog their memory, and that's why police continue to appeal to the public to come forward.